Hello friends, this video on thermodynamics part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 15 before going ahead with part 16. Now that we have very well discussed about the first law of thermodynamics and some of its application, it's time to introduce the second law of thermodynamics. So what does the second law state? There are two statements for the second law of thermodynamics given by two different scientists. However, they both mean the same. But you should always remember these two statements because many times they are helpful. That Many times you might be asked that give this particular statement of second law of thermodynamics. So what are the two statements? One is Kelvin Planck statement and the other one is Clausius statement. So it is good if you very well remember both the statements, however, they, will, they would interpret the same thing. So what does Kelvin Planck statement says? It states that no process is possible whose sole result is the absorption of heat from a reservoir and the complete conversion of heat into work. So I told you some time back that when we calculate the when we try to calculate the efficiency of a heat engine we found that according to first law of thermodynamics efficiency can be 100% right but i told you that second law puts a restriction to this because second law states that it is always impossible that the total amount of heat which is supplied to the system will get converted to work. There has to be some heat which will be lost during the process. So complete conversion of heat into work is not possible. At the same time, Clausius has also stated the second law of thermodynamics in a slightly different way. It states that no process is possible whose sole result is the transfer of heat from a colder object to a hotter object. That means we any process in which transfer of heat takes place from a body at lower temperature to a body at higher temperature is not possible. So even that means the same that until and unless there is some external work done on the system, it cannot happen that heat will flow from an object which is at a lower temperature to an object which is at a higher temperature. So there also you need some external work to be done by the system. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.